Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our Blind Let's Play of Phoenix Wright is Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Today, my friends, we are starting the final case in the Ace Attorney Trilogy Bridge to the Turnabout. I, I think we've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. And if my theory is correct, this may be this may be the longest case in this in the uh, in the game. I don't know if it's the longest case in the series. I was told that the uh, that one five was basically the last time um, they said it would have like a three day investigation. But it just seems like the last cases are always the longest. So buckle yourselves in and get ready for a wild ride as we begin Bridge to the Turnabout. Oh, I'm so excited. Chichishito, the treasured Karain village heirloom, whose name means Seven Branch Sword. Yeah, we know what this is. That was the sword we found in the, um, was it case two? It is said that this sacred sword represents life itself. Though the branches may appear to be infinite, the choice is limitless. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end, one merciless point. Seen all the flashbacks, and when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world, is severed. the dots. The illusion is revealed and the implacability of fate is finally led bare. February 6, 9.48 a.m. Right in company law offices. Oh, I hope you all having a wonderful day today. I can only imagine it's probably going to take us what like if I had to guess, here's my guess. It's probably going to take us three weeks to complete this case. That's just my guess. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy it every step of the way. I hope you guys do too. Hey, Nick. Yeah, what is it? You know how I've got spiritual powers unlike you? Uh, sure. You are a spirit medium, after all. But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so. Yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Pearls? Uh, so that's why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Nick, Mr. Nick. Uh-huh, I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? Hey, it's a New Year's issue of Occult. We'll do a spiritual location special. I'm so glad to see Pearls again. She just brightens up today. I mean, look at that excitement. Yeah, look how happy she is. I agree. She looks... Oh, I, I, I love pearls. Oh, pearls look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of intensive training. Oh, it sounds too good to be true. I'll say. It sounds more like a scam to me. It's a spiritual retreat called Hazaruka Temple. It's way up in the mountains, and I bet it's nice and cold. Just perfect for training. Now I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Uh, don't worry. I've already made special reservations just for us. Yeah. And I signed up for the special course. That's nice. And the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have a case right now anyway. Alrighty then. It's settled. Well, come on. Don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Nick. You better start packing your stuff. Huh? M me? Why do I have to go? Well, we had to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. Really? I mean, you just... How, why is it 20 years old? That's that's kind of... I mean, that's, that's a weird number. Like, if it's at 21, I guess I could buy that. But 20? Uh, age difference in Japan are different. 
Let's check out our profile here. We got Maya Faye, age 19. Maya is the same disciple of the crying tradition of spirit channeling. Mia Faye, deceased. Maya's older sister, or my eternal mentor in life and law, passed away two years ago. We have Godo, who we know is someone else now. Age, all the question marks. Uh, how old is he? He's... He's 32? Is that correct? Because I think it was 27. That was five years ago. Actually, it may have been six years ago. So maybe he's 33 now. And we got Pearly. Uh, Maya's cousin in channeling prodigy. She has amazing, powerful spiritual abilities. We still have an attorney scratch. It shows I'm an attorney, defense attorney. And we have a Magatama. We ask people who have secrets in their hearts. Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit, po spirit power. The only thing I can channel is the TV. <laughs> yes. All the dots. So, um, is there a heated pool at this Hazuka Temple? Heck yeah! I would go for a heated pool, that sounds fun. Uh, no, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall. Uh, that does, that, that, that sounds less fun. Oh, the, oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into dots? Uh, sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way! How can you be so selfish? Uh, come on, Mr. Nick. Look at this place. Does it look beautiful? Uh, nope, not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. Oh, the... what the dots? Oh, what is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. Wait a second. What the heck, dots? The... 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 this nun! That's Dahlia! Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl, it, it's... My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. Honestly, how could any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me! But... But it, it, it can't be. She's in jail. She was found guilty and she's still be in prison. She doesn't have a secret twin that I, we don't know about, does she? I mean, she had a sister in Valerie, but did she, did she have another sister? My, my head just exploded and we're only like eight minutes into this episode. Uh, Mr. Nick? Of all the confused dots, um, I, I, I I'll go. Huh? Hazuka Temple. I I said, I'll go. Yay! Is that great, Pearly? Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nick. You do anything for Mr. Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? Oh, cult. New issue received from Pearls. And a cult magazine featuring Hazuka Temple. You know what's funny is, um, they tested this on Mythbusters. And, uh, the science shows that you can actually walk over hot coals without any real problems. Because all the heat is under. But yet, if you don't know the science, and you try walking all over hot coals, then your brain thinks it's really, really hot, and you'll end up burning yourself. It's- it was a really weird episode. Go watch it. If you haven't seen Mythbusters, you should. What is going on in this case already? Tell a Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But I just had to see for myself who this nun really was. Oh, we're not going to investigate our office? Huh. February 7th, 3.24pm? Hazaruka Temple, Main Gate. Burr! It's so cold here, Nick! Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. Oh, well, well it's supposed to be c c cold. It's too training. Ah, uh, achoo! Her teeth are chattering so loudly, it's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya, so this is a famous Hazuka temple? How is it she's not cold? Must be the uh, benefits of being young. Really? I. Achoo! Well, well, well. Oh, hello. I need to give her some kind of voice. Hmm. Oh, nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. 
Oh, the thank you. Hachu! Oh, my, my, my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been cold. What's with the past tense? We're freezing into human popsicles as we speak. Ho, 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 ho. Well, we are high up in the mountains after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please, follow me inside. Th thank you. I was starting to think I would pass. Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I am the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini. Um... Your name is... Bikini? Hold on, does, does that have a hidden meaning that I don't know about? Uh, Japanese name meaning bikini. Uh, what does bikini mean in Japanese? Uh, let's see, hold on, hold on. Uh, bikini in Japanese, uh, supisu, uh, two-piece, or two-piece suits, or mizugi, bathing suits, swimsuits, and bathing suits. Uh, so yeah, that name means exactly what I thought it means. Um, how did you get named after a bikini? A bikini? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I love when the protagonists are on the same page. Oh, that's right. Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? It's a tradition to have one. I wanted something that has a nice image to it. Hey, I, I, I guess. I mean, we we seen some. I mean, names in Ace Attorney always have deeper meaning. So okay, I, I'm not going to falter for that. It, it's it kind of reminds me of of um. You remember? Have you ever seen the movie of Robin Hood Men in Tights? Uh, where where she says her name was Latrine, and they're all like, "Why did you change your name to Latrine?" Uh, yeah, it reminds me of that scene. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It certainly does. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those who channel. Whoa ho ho! Ho ho ho! Uh, uh, uh reckless. Whoa ha ha! Uh, maybe you should take it easy tonight, Miss Maya. We can come back another day. But you went through all that trouble to get reservations for and... Uh, yes, 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 that's right. You come all this way, so please enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper. So why don't you have a look around? Ho ho ho! Alright, well let's look around first. Alright, we already met our first interesting character here. What do you think, Nick? A yeah, pretty awesome gate, huh? It sure is. It looks pretty well maintained, too. This thing kind of puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, well, a lot of things have happened in Crying Village. We used to be a lot richer back when people hired us to perform channelings. Oh, I see. But now the place looked a bit run down. Hmm, I guess I was just born in the wrong time. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. You can always make it better. Oh, look, it's a cute little bell tower. I absolutely love the sound of a giant bell. Oh, so which do you like better? That or the sound of money? Oh, the explosive dots. Oh, the dots. <laughs> of course, you bring up money and she instantly goes to that. Hey, you gotta have money to buy hamburgers, right? And cheeseburgers and hot dogs and all of that. I mean, I kind of understand where she's coming from. Sorry, but I'll take money for the win, Nick. <laughs> I knew she would say that. Well, what are you apologizing for? We all knew that's what you were going to say. Oh, hello, look at this. Was that a snowmobile covered in snow? I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh look, it's one of those snow motorcycle thingies. Uh, most people call that a snowmobile, you know. Exactly. Snow motorcycle things. Snow, blow meal, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, too bad we didn't invite Desiree. Aw. Yeah, I agree, that would've been cool. I bet she could race like the wind on this snowmobile. Slowmobile. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, my brain just automatically translated that to snowmobile. It took me a second to realize she said that wrong. Or maybe she can be ride on this blow snowmobile. Blow snowmobile. Arg! I told you, it's snowmobile. She's just doing that to mess with us, isn't she? I mean, come on. That looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here, it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. They gotta have a heater or something in there, don't you think? I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm not worried. I brought my hot water bottle. Uh, did you bring one for me? Uh, what are you talking about, Nick? Who cares around two hot water bottles? Oh, thanks a lot, Maya. Brr, the cold doesn't kill me. Ice cream over here will finish the job. What is an ice hotel? I've never heard that phrase before. Ice hotel. Hmm. I'm a lawyer. Um, do you think you'll take a look at this? I may not look like it, but I can tell you I'm very much in demand. And to be quite honest, I am finding this a little difficult to say. Uh, what is she trying to say, Mr. Nick? I think she's trying to say that she's busy. <laughs> but seriously, Nick, what's the deal? Nothing has even happened yet, and you're already showing me evidence of people's faces. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. We are. <laughs> you need to forget about work and relax a little. Uh, try to have some fun, okay, Mr. Nick? Uh, yeah, you're right. Sure, pin that hypothermia on the lawyer is great fun. All right, well, let's show her this and... All right, she's not gonna respond to that. So let's go ahead and um, begin uh, talking to uh, Miss Bikini here. How does that happen? How is that her? Hmm. The demon wearing a nun's outfit? Channeling Dojo. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my, 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 your daughter ran out loud. Forgive him, sister, for he knows not what he is saying. <laughs> oh. oh, that's great. Well, 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 just call me Bikini. I forgot that sister part. Oh, channeling dojo is basically a special power training ground. We have special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual power. Uh, holy items? Or if you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, ah, oh, it's quite mysterious. The spiritual power of these items seems to have helped you. <laughs> wow, she must have just gone off the trolley from the land of make believe. Um, so what exactly is the special course? You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in just such a such thing at such a young age. <laughs> it's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and touch a small. 30,000 times. Oh, well, we showered in freezing cold spirit water. Well, that does not sound fun. Yeah, have fun with that, Maya. I, yeah, yeah, you can go have fun with that. I'm going to go eat a cheeseburger. Eh? First February now, right? Oh, you have to be careful this time of the year. Or if you don't watch it, you'll catch pneumonia or maybe you'll die of hypothermia. So be careful, you hear? Whoa, ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. Uh, how am I supposed to be careful? Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have signed Mystic Maya for this. Yeah, you have fun with that, Maya. The other nun. Reminds me a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho with the intense training with uh, Genkai. Um, sister, about this picture. Whoa, 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 look at that. I must say, I look rather divine here, don't you think? Oh, um, yeah, unforgettable in every way. Oh, you made it? Oh, I knew it! Woo ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! The makeup was pretty tough, but Iris helped me out. Iris? Oh, the cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? Ho ho ho! We're just a small tumble here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That kind of sounds like fun. Sorry to cut in, but. This. Iris? Where is she right now? Oh, I just listened to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a girlfriend, have you? Ho ho ho! All the dots! All the glaring dots! She's upset because, she, yeah, Pearls is so cute. I, I understand her there. She's like, how dare you? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. How dare you want to hide for another girlfriend when you got Mystic Mai over here? That's so unfair. I'm gonna beat you up, Nick, if you don't be nice to Mr. Mystic Maya. Yeah, I can just see her now. Oh, no, 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 that's, th that's not really what I had in mind at all. Please, don't make the little girl try to kill me. Well, anyway, Iris is in the inner temple, preparing for this evening. Ho, ho, ho. 
And a temple? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's right. I also be back this evening. Oh, why don't you go have a look at the main hall for now? Oh, ha, 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 ha. So, she's in the inner temple, huh? Hmm. Alright, well, let's, um... Top to bottom? Yeah, top to bottom. You know what's strange is hearing the name Iris. Oh, man. Hearing the name Iris uh, brings me back to I, the Somnium Piles. Uh, if you haven't seen I, the Somnium Piles, go check it out sometime. It's a really, really good playthrough. We'll be doing the sequel, uh, Nirvana Initiative. Probably after Ever 17, because as it stands, we'll probably finish this game sometime in April. And then Nirvana Initiative doesn't come out till June 22nd. So obviously, we're not going to sit around for two months and do nothing. We'll play Ever 17, and Ever 17 will probably take us, you know, a couple months. And then after that, we'll play Nirvana Initiative. Um, and then after that, we'll play Your Turn to Die if a new party is released, or we will play uh, Aegis 13, and then we'll play Your Turn to Die if a new party is released. Who knows when that's going to be released, you know? We just got to play by ear. Main Hall. And then maybe in the future, you know, uh, Toki Doki Literature Club, someone recommended. Um, and then there's, of course, the second trilogy of Ace Attorney. You know, I have enough games to last us for over the next year it's it's gonna be a great time i hope you guys really enjoy this uh, if you do love our channel don't forget to subscribe uh february 7th hazard good temple main hall the, the main hall i i think it's even colder in here aren't you uh mr nick do you smell that it smells like meat and gravy oh i would love some meat and gravy although i can't really have gravy because usually it's cooked with a lot of flour and sugar and yeah i can't really have that on my diet yeah, you're right. I guess this pot was for tonight. Yum. Weird. I thought they would serve something a little more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice school all the time? Oh, Mr. Mai is right. Oh, I hope there's mashed potatoes, too. I love mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. I swear, that's like one of the first things I'm going to eat once, um, once I get down to my target weight and I break my carnivore diet is I want mashed potatoes. Ah, I so badly want mashed potatoes. Ha ha ha, what a cute little acolyte. Who is this? Oh, hello. Ooh. She looks refined, dignified. <clears throat> Let's see. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6.8 out of 10 on the weirdest scale. Your outfit. Did you come here for the special course too? Ha, ha, ha. Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm. Ah! Eeyore! Eeyore! What? Eeyore, Miss Elise D Donim! Donim? God, I, I'm horrible with languages. Is that Donim? Or is it Dunam? Dunim? Down him? Oh, I don't know how to say this name. Uh, Miss Elise. Yeah, there we go. Miss Elise. Yes, that's right. You know of me. Oh, my name. My, my name is Pearl Fay. I, I, I'm your biggest fan. Aw, oh, that's so cute. Uh, who is she, Nick? I have no idea. Hmm, I see it now. Zavari! A fortune teller. <laughs> Yes, I love the callbacks. Uh, I've got all your books, Miss Elise. Ha, ha, ha. What a sweet thing to say. And please, call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Nick, uh, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who this is? Well, um, an author, maybe? Yes, an illustrator. Uh, picture books. Picture books? Huh? Oh, now I get it. Okay, um... It's good to see that Pearls has a biggest fan. I thought we were her biggest fan. Or Maya was a biggest fan. Oh well, you know, it's all good. I bet the writing on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling. Ah, what if they say tip number four on how to make money? 
<laughs> kind of like how we scribbled math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them. Except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests, and I can't read these walls. Uh, something here? It's an altar. It looks a bit old, but someone does a good job taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in Crying Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. There's a laughably large Magatama on the altar. If I could see Cyclops with the tiny Magatama I've got, I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under its hood. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, something here? It's a sack of straw zap, zap, Zabutan cushions? Maya told me this type of Zabutan is called Enza. I suppose if I'd never come here, I'd have missed out on all these new things. I actually don't know what a Zabutan means. Is it a type of material? Uh, what is Zabutan? See, when I play a game, I like to learn more about stuff. A Zabutan is a Japanese cushion for sitting. The Zabutan is generally used when sitting on the floor. It may also be used when sitting on a chair. Oh, so it's just like a, um, yeah, it's just basically a sort of like a flat cushion. You know how uh, some chairs uh, in the States have like a cushion for like a chair? It's sort of like that, I guess, except, you know, you just sit on these. Okay, learn something new every day. I like that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, there are straw Zabutan cushions arranged around a hibachi brazier. I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. If it wasn't for the Sabachi, they'd probably freeze to death. Ooh, that looks interesting. I don't know, is that something you eat? Uh, is this something you eat? I imagine it is, right? I mean, it seems like they're all gathered around it. Alright, um... Obviously, we have nothing to present because nothing has happened yet, so let's just talk. Elise Dunim Downim. Ah. <sighs> I'm trying, you guys. I really am. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's all right. I take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. A and really beautiful pictures, too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart had been purified. Ha ha ha. It makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Ah, uh, Miss Elise won an award last year for a book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was alright to make it into a book. Wow, it must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too? If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. Recently, I've accepted a sort of a apprentice, you might say. An apprentice? He calls himself Loris. Loris to name. I believe he's off doing some landscaping sketches now. On Loris's behalf as well. I'd like to thank you for your support. Oh, of course, Miss Elise. Anything for you. I wonder, is that her son or something? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, uh, why come here? Um, why did you come to Hazuka Temple, Miss Elise? Are you here to do some spiritual training? Ha, ha, ha. No, that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials. For a new book that I'm working on. Wow, oh, I can't wait to read it. Pearls is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. So is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes, the good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath my robe as well. I want a staff like that. You like the crystal sphere? It's real amethyst, you know. Yeah, it is a beautiful sphere. Uh, staff, not spear. Ah, I saw the word sphere and I said spear. 
Uh, we can also see our, uh, training robes underneath, too. The, uh, what, the, the purple with the white, uh, bubbles? Bubbles? Circles? Globes? Whatever those are. Maybe we'll find one like that up here on the mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find me one. Oh, thanks. Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow, you mean, wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? Well, that's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? Oh, yeah, she's definitely going to want to go be with Miss Elise. Oh, yeah, I can see that now. Whereas Maya will do anything for a cheeseburger, I'm pretty sure she'll do anything for Elise. And she has in Pearls. Yeah, yes, yes, I want to help with whatever I can. She's so, she's such a sweetheart, I swear. She's so good. Pearls looks like she just won the lottery. Oh, I'll help too then. No, it's fine. Please, don't worry about it. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it will be of help to you. Is it the, um... Uh, a map of the place? Yeah, sort of. How's your temple and inner temple? You know, I wonder... It, it, this isn't Eagle River, is it? it? Is it? Because, let's not forget, they did talk about how there was a temple. Uh, there was a temple nearby Eagle River. But there's two temples here. But still, I look at that picture. I'm sorry, but... I'm looking at this picture. The bridge is complete. Sure. The bridge is complete. But everything else in this picture. You, you see the ledge sticking out beneath the bridge? The, uh, the cliffside there? Do you see the parking lot or the, uh, that square area where you can park cars? And then the, uh, the, the cords going across the middle of the bridge? Everything in this picture looks like Eagle River. That, that, that can't be a coincidence. This can't be a coincidence that we're back at Eagle River following uh, a picture of what looks to be Dahlia. Yeah. This has to be Eagle River. But would Phoenix know about that? Because it was in a hospital bed, it seemed, at the start of the fourth case. So maybe something happens to him in this case where he gets hurt. And then he tries to find out more about this area. And he finds out about Dahlia investigating Eagle River. And when he finds out about Dolly investigating Evil Go River, that's when he reads about Mia's first case with her. Sorry, my brain just went into theory mode as soon as I saw this picture. Either this is Eagle River or they just copy and pasted the picture from the previous trial, but this has to be it. It's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? Now, it's very possible that they may have fixed the bridge in, uh, in the years since. The inner temple. There it is, on the other side of the bridge. Well, if you insist, I guess we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. Hazuka Temple map added to the court record. Shows Hazuka Temple in surrounding area. Oh, okay, I'll see you two later then. Remember, you don't let to fight. Have fun, Pearls. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. Man, my brain just did so many cartwheels seeing that picture. Oh, man. That, that is... Ooh. Wow, it looks like we're back at the main gate and something's here. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the inner temple to go help that other nun out. All right. I think her name is Iris. Uh, yeah, that was it. I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what, what, what I'll find. Oh, the questionable dots. Yeah, I know. Um, nothing else here. 
Oh, let's go to suspension bridge. Dusky bridge. Dusky bridge. That's that's confirmation. We are at Eagle River. Oh my goodness. What Eagle River many years after everything started. Oh boy. February 7th, suspension bridge. Wow, look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there. It looks like it's flowing real fast. What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, I'm just not very good with heights. I'm not good with heights either, don't worry. Oh, hey, I've got it. Maybe we should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge. No, I think that's a horrible idea. You know, one, two, three, jump. I, I think it's a really horrible idea. It might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, all right. Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. Well, it's practically the same thing. <laughs> anyway, the inner temple is just up ahead, right? So let's go and check it out. Uh, why isn't there another way across? Alright, let's look around. Heavenly Hall? There's a narrow path going off in, in a different direction than that of the main hall. The sign here is so old, the text seems to have vanished. The path leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, I'll write wooden staircase on it then. Do you really think that is necessary? I have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, I can't art. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya. Yeah, let's not get arrested here. Come on, Nick. Why don't we hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. It looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Okay, Nick. Then let's try to find a cute fluffy little bunny and test your theory. That right there is sums up the fun of our distance between sane and insane. Oh, I love the writing in this game. It's so good. It looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. I guess that's where I'll be training tonight. Do you want to train with me, Nick? And do the special course? I think not. I don't even think it's safe for us to be here if Dolly is around. Especially if she wants vengeance on us. Um, I think we should probably leave and alert the authorities as soon as possible. But it'd be so great if you had spiritual powers too. Like alert Godo or Edgeworth or Gumshoe or everyone. Really? I see dead people. Sounds more like a cause of alarm to me. I can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? The people who live here, I guess. I doubt they have any real phones here. Yeah, but it took like 20 minutes to walk here from the main hall. All the dots. It would have been smarter than to build a main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. Some letters are engraved into a roughly cut boulder. D-U-S-T-Y bridge, huh? It says Dusky! Dusky Bridge, okay? Come on, Nick, take a look at that bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. <laughs> Besides, obviously wrong. I'm gonna fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. Do I look like a pencil holder to you? Hmm. Nothing for the footprints. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, without a doubt, we're definitely at Eagle River. February 7th, Inner Temple Gate. Whoa! That bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake. All the dots. And at least half of the wood on that rickety bridge was rotting, I bet. All the dots. Not to mention the last part only had like one board left on it. All the I'm preoccupied dots. What's wrong with you? Your face is all green. Uh, can, can you not pick on me for a second? Oh, it's because of heights. Never mind. I'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised too. Yikes, that temple is in bad shape. Looks like it could collapse at any time. I guess people don't use it too often. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here. Like a ghost might jump out at you or something. A spirit medium afraid of ghosts. Isn't that ironic, don't you think? Hey, we have more people to look at. Uh, bikini, age 48. Hardy, motherly head nun of the Hazuka Temple. Channeling Dojo deep in the mountains. Elise Dunim. It's all the question mark. Kind-eyed author and illustrator of picture books. Pearls is a huge fan of hers. 
All right, let's look around. Let's slide back over first. I don't care how much you pay me. I don't want to cross that bridge again. Actually, we're going to have to to make it back to where we were. No worries, Nick. No one is offering you any money. That's because no reasonable person would call that pile of popsicle sticks a bridge. The line of half food was nothing more than a few planks of wood and some string. Hey, if we want to get back, we got no choice but to cross it again, you know? All the dots. Maybe I'll just stay. I've always dreamed of living in a little shack in the woods. Wow, you really are scared, aren't you? Yeah, I would be scared too. As soon as I step foot on that bridge, I'd be like, oh my god, this is a horrible idea. It looks like this bridge is suspended by four of these wires. They're really thin. Should they be just a little thicker? Oh, stop it. You're such a worry work, Nick. If the bridge were really going to collapse, I'm pretty sure the boards would break before these wires ever did. Well, thanks for that encouragement. Oh, the dots. What's wrong? You're turning into an overripe avocado again. Yeah! Yeah, I would be too. Oh, wow. Look at these neat Buddhist statues. There's two things I'm deathly afraid of. Bugs and heights. Can't stand either one. So that's why in our horror games, when there's a bunch of bugs, I freak out. Maybe I'll take one home with me. Maya? But there are so many. They wouldn't notice if I just took one. Are you kidding? Of course they'll notice. What are you going to do with one of those anyway? Put it in the office, of course. We could trade that wooden statue in the office reception area for one of these. You know, come to think of it, where did that wooden statue come from anyway? Alright, what else have we got? Hey, there's a giant robot buried in the snow. Oh, that's not a robot, Dots. Well, there's something buried in the snow, but I think it's an incinerator. Another callback to a previous case. Oh, he, but you gotta admit, it looks like a lot like a robot. Um, sure. Anyway, I don't think it gets used much. It's looking pretty rusty. What was it? The uh, first Silver Samurai case? Uh, case number three of the first game, I believe? Hey, Nick, uh, don't you think this giant mobile incinerator can walk? I told you, it's not a robot. It's not especially big, either. Bah, you have no imagination. I thought it'd be real neat if you had to beat it to advance. A fight between a lawyer and an overgrown furnace? Who'd ever pay to see that? <laughs> I don't know, like, one of my favorite shows to watch, it's not, it has nothing to do with, um, incinerators, but one of my favorite shows to watch, and I watch this all the time with my dad, is, uh, BattleBots. I love BattleBots. BattleBots is such a great show. There's just so many good things about that. I also watch it with my nephew as well. He'll come over and watch it with us, and it's just, it's just so much fun, uh, watching robots destroy each other. Hey, a half-open gate. That's practically a welcome mat. Yeah, except the sign on here says, no entry. <laughs> um, Nick, rules are made to be broken, you know? No, they're not. Do you expect a lawyer to go along with that? Oh, come on. You're such an old lady sometimes. Let's just go. Don't blame it on me when Sister Bikini puts a curse on you. All the dots. Now you got me scared. Um, let's just forget about it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, nice little pond. Look at that. How is that not frozen? Or is it frozen? Is that ice? Yeah, it probably is ice because look, you can see like the white marks on the top of it. Yeah, but it still looks absolutely gorgeous in uh, winter time. Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it, but if I had to take a good guess, it say it says inner temple. What's the point of a sign if you can't read it? Must be tough for the mailman when he's delivering here. I guess the sign is a good indication of how long this place has been here. Uh, what else do we got? Just scanning around. So that's the up inner temple up ahead, huh? It looks kind of running down. Well, it wouldn't be very temple-like if it was all bright and shiny. So you're training here tonight, huh? Yep, uh, then everyone will see my spiritual powers. Or the fact that you're really, really hungry? Sounds like your stomach wants to show off its digestive powers instead. I wonder if that roast is ready yet. Aww. See, I, I really like Maya. Alright, well, I don't see anything else here, although I'm pretty sure there's going to be more here in the future. Training hall. Whoa, it looks like a jail cell. February 7th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Man, look at this place. It's just a tiny, freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? 
What do you mean? Both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Chloe's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. So says a girl who I can barely hear over teeth chattering. Anyway, uh, the real training room must be beyond that door over there. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even I can sense that there's something supernatural about this cavern behind the door. Um. She's got... She's got brown hair. She's got brown hair. Instead of her red hair. But it seems to be the same length. She definitely has the same eyes. She definitely has the same nose. But her hair is different. She's dressed different. But that is Dahlia, right? Huh. Should we give her a different voice? And do what we did with Godo and uh, Melissa? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to go with my gut. Excuse me, but who are you? Ah, all the dots. Y y you're. Hi there. We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. All the dots. All the questionable dots? Is something wrong? Uh, er, no. It's nothing. That's clearly her. She recognizes us. I wonder why she spaced out like that. Don't you, Nick? Uh, d d did you say something... M Maya? All the dots, not you too, Nick. Hi. M my name is Iris. I'm one of the temple- one of the run nuns who- Ah! Um, sorry guys, let me try it again. Hi. Well, my name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm IFA. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, the dots. Oh, uh, please excuse me. I have some, um, chores to attend to. She sure is beautiful and a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. Oh, the flash, all the blasts from the past dots. Yeah, not flashback. Blast from the past. That's the right phrase. Uh, Nick? That girl. It, it, it can't be, but... All the questionable dots? You know, if I was Nick, one of the things I would have done is I would have called the police station and asked, Hey, Gumshoe, um, this girl, uh, is she still in jail? You know? But that might not have worked. I don't know, would I have thought about that? Would I have done what Nick did and that's just rush to, you know, rush to see for myself? I don't know. But a girl who, but I mean, Phoenix was in love with her. And yeah, of course, Dahlia used Phoenix, you know, like a tool. But to Phoenix, to Phoenix, it was real, you know? Huh. Look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. Hmm, nothing. It's just a bunch of old clothes. Hey, Nick. All the dots? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Oh, about Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the lip bug, Nick. Ah, uh, you want to understand, Maya. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Locked, maybe? Phooey, it's locked. <laughs> Come on, Nick. You know you want to open it for me. I can't. All the dots? You've been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zavari! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I, now she's saying it. I know what it is. It's I-R-I-S. 
All the dots. Ha ha ha! Iris and Nick, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Oh, dear lord. Oh, I'm so glad Pearls didn't hear that. I would have bruises all over. There are a bunch of musty looking blankets and bedding sets piled up here. I wonder why they're even here in the first place. It's because all spiritual training is done under the supervision of a nun. I wonder if Sister Bikini is planning to sleep in here while I train. But if they sleep, what's the point of having them here in the first place? Uh, maybe just to like, I don't know, calm the spirits or something? A hanging scroll. It doesn't look that old either. Ah! 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 Uh, what is it? Why'd you scream like that? The, 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 the scroll! It... It's... My mother! Oh. What? What? It's Missy Fay, the master of the crying spit school channeling. Are are you sure? Yes. That crest at the top of the scroll. That's the special mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. Huh. All the dots. What is it? Nothing. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You must miss your mom so badly. It's just that I lost her 15 years ago. If it wasn't for that crest, I would have, wouldn't have ever known it was her. My own mother. And I can't even recognize her face. Well, you were four at the time. Maya. Hanging scroll adds to the court records. Shows Missy Fay master the crying technique. Why is that a piece of record? Huh. It's a hanging wall scroll showing Maya's mother, Missy Fay. It's not that old. That crest at the top is the official mark of the master. I wonder if this temple has some sort of connection to the Fay family. I think it does, actually. Supposedly, it was founded by a branch family, branch member of the crying school. I'll have to ask Bikini in more detail when I get the chance about Maya and the Fay family in general. Hmm. Is this case going to bring everything together? Maya's mom? Dahlia? Well, let's head back, shall we? February 7th. Dusty, um, <clears throat> I mean, Dust Key Bridge. Whoa, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. <laughs> all the dots. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling all right? I, I really don't want to do that again. All the I don't want to go back dots. You know what's funny is I have an aunt um, who's petrified of bridges. So every time she goes over a bridge, she closes her eyes, clutches, some, clutches something, and yells out, Bridge! And she'll yell that the entire time until she's across the bridge. Um, now, of course, she doesn't walk across bridges, but, like, driving a car, it's like she can't drive across bridges or go on bridges because she is petrified by bridges. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the training hall, you've been really quiet. Huh? Oh, um, I'm sorry. Hey, you. Wait up. All the questionable dots? You think he's yelling at us? Yeah, who is it? He must be. There's no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in the way. Who is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, why? Oh. Maybe this is the new Larry. Yeah, maybe this is the new Larry that's not going to be, you know, fawning over every single girl in the area. Because I can't stand Womanizer Larry. It just drives me crazy. Yeah, it Yeah. Hey, I know you. You're... Whoa, ah, sorry. Get a gun. Ah, see ya. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Larice Dorsnim. Oh, come on. You are so not Larice Larry. Oh, I see it now. You liar! You Larry! Clothes may change, but you're still the butts! Eh, shit it! I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Larice! 
And I'm just here to do a sketch this reach. So it really is our Larry. Not that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. Oh dear God. We got Larry back again. Well, you even cuter than last time I saw you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You look like a totally different person. Don't you think so, Nick? Uh, maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. It seems to be the same dialogue as before. I am not going to click on pearls with him. Sorry, I'm not. She seems really motherly, doesn't she? Yeah, what do you mean? Seems motherly. She is my mother. She's your what? I'm gonna have to take a pass and answer that one. Wait a second. Why is it getting all so easy this time? Well, this is really something. Ah, she seems like a mother to me. Well, yeah, you can tell from the kindness reflected in her, in her eyes. Ah, when I first looked into her eyes, I just couldn't help it. I started blathering about all the bad things that I had done in my life. And she just laughed at that gentle laugh of hers and listened. Are you sure she wasn't just laughing at you? Oh yeah, her, my little Iris. Oh dear God, she's really pretty. Well, this girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her. Hopefully, it's not a nude portrait. Yeah, you always like those t model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a sec. Did you just say you were swearing off woman? Yeah, I thought so too. Is this the new Larry? Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have, basically, but you know. But, but uh, I was different. I feel like, feel like I still have one chance left at the, dr at the dream. This guy will never change. Yeah, don't do it. Maurice Donome, age 25, better known as Larry Butts, currently in training as Elise Donome's pupil. Hey, I know I may not look it, but I'm an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a really beautiful motif. Picky picky, aren't you? Alright, well... Hey, I know I may not look it. Oh wait, so that's his, um... That's his saying when he doesn't have anything, um... To add. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Dunome here. Luis Dunome. So, what are you doing with the last name Donim? Well, I, I just... I want to start over again. With a clean slate. Clean slate? Hey, you remember, don't you? Last time? The, the mask started mask case. Well, after that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. Well, and that's why I came across it, the Book of Destiny. The Book of Destiny? Do you mean? Well, the magic bottle by Mr. Lee's the Noom. It's so beautiful, so moving, so, so gentle. My heart felt cleansed. I was saved. Maybe, maybe I should buy a copy of this magic bottle. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book now, too. Elise. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Oh, uh, well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. What, you see? You see? There's a photo I took of her in secret. Oh, that's a really beautiful picture, actually. Wow, that's a beautiful photo. Hey, you want a cop, don't you? It's okay, I just happen to have made extra prints. Photo of Elise added to the court record. Taken by only people, Luis Dunome. Picture books. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So tell the truth. You must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? Oh, what are you talking about? Man, I don't. I don't trust anyone anymore. It's with that woman. But yet you'll trust Iris, stupidly enough. I've made that mistake before. Don't do it. Talk about a bad case of denial. Well, anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Well, art is only about technical skills, you know? So it's about having a pure heart. That's something you don't have. And that's why I'm asking. Can you draw well enough to make a whole book? All the eggs committed dits. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. Well, it's true, I do. But when I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended, and something else began. Oh, Larry, sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Elise Dunham. I know, you're wrong, it's not her, it's the other girl. Other girl? 
Uh oh. I got a bad feeling about this. E everyone! Hey, Pearly. Uh, dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. All right, I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm going to go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. Please don't. Please, please, I swear, game. If anything bad happens to Pearls, I'm gonna lose it. I also wanna have a look at where Mystic Maya is going to be training. I swear, if anything happens to that girl, I am going to go completely insane. Like, no joke. February 7th, 746 p.m. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Ah, oh, Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. Ah, no pain, no gain, I guess. Ah, I'm so worried about you. <laughs> well, 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 uh, let's not dilly dally shilly shilly. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. All right, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Oh, Iris, uh, please ring the bell at 10 o'clock for lights out, all right? Oh, -ho! yes, Sister Bikini. Uh, and then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us in the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing going tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. Oh, uh, really? Uh, I'd love to! Uh, I am, uh, I'm not very good at reading. Ha ha ha. Well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Oh my gosh, this is per this is the best day in Pearl's life ever. Ah, uh, I'd love to. Pearl's just absolutely smitten with Mr. Noom. So Larry, what are you going to do? Huh? Me? Uh, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cool at all. I totally hear you there. Oh, uh, Miss Elise, for example, how do you read this? It says, good evening. That's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. And what about this word? That's another tough one. It says, roast. Oh. What kind of book is she reading anyway? Well, I'm going to go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Aw, she's so happy. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under covers, I guess. Oh my gosh, have I really been playing for over an hour? 9, 12 p.m. I really need to stop. Ugh. It's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Ugh, why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Who is this? Yeah! Oh, hello, Elise. Oh, ah, Mr. Gnome, are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no, but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after- oh my god. I thought she said she was going to your room. I- no, but she never showed up. I I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. Oh my god, what's wrong with Pearl? I swear, game. I swear. Miss Elise Denome, a woman as mysterious in origin as last name. But, the really mysterious one is... Oh. Ah, S Sister Iris. <sighs> Alright, well this is where I'm gonna leave us off. Um, Pearls is missing. And that's bad. I swear, game. I swear. If anything bad happens to that girl, I'm going to go nuts. Um, and we also got this mysterious woman as well. And we've been going for like an hour plus. Oh my goodness. I completely lost track of time. I, I, I'm so invested right now. And I can't wait to see more. I love you all so very much. Until next time. So long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.